All right, let's learn how to create more complex animation sequences using the Framer Motion Animation Library and React. My name is Greg Fine, and here at The Code Creative, we get into the more creative sides of coding. If that sounds intriguing to you, remember to subscribe. And now let's get into some code. In a previous example, we had looked at this code where we had an SVG element, which we turned into a motion SVG element in order to be able to animate it. And we had animated its scale to a value of two. And we also animated the transition from a fill color of red to a fill color of blue. Now, I want to focus on the animation of the scale. And here we gave it a simple single value of two. However, we can actually give this a series of values called keyframes. And keyframes is a concept that originated in the early days of hand-drawn animations, where the senior animators would create the most important frames that had the key positions and poses. Basically, the frames where the most significant changes occurred. And then they would have the junior animators or assistants fill in the in-between frames. And these were called tweens or in-betweens. And in fact, these junior animators were referred to as in-betweeners. So with this system in place, because hand-drawn animations were so time-consuming, the animation studios were able to save time and ensure quality as well. So for scale, in order to use keyframes, we're going to give it an array. And now we can define a series of scales. So the initial scale can stay at 1. And let's say for the second keyframe, we want to animate it to a value of 2. But then we want to animate it back to scale it down to 1.5. And then finally, let's scale it up really large to a value of 3. So basically now we have like four different stops along the way from the initial scale to the final scale of 3. Let's save that and see how this looks. So we start scaling up to 2, down to 1.5, and then finally up to 3. And this is all happening over a course of 3 seconds. So frame or motion is taking these keyframe values, and it's taking that total duration of 3 seconds and equally dividing it. So if I reduce the duration down to 1, you'll see that each of those keyframes happens a lot more quickly. At the moment, we're starting our keyframe array with a value of 1. And that's working just fine because our circle starts at a scale of 1. However, we could be in a situation where our animation is starting at a different scale. And in that case, we can achieve a smoother result by using a wildcard keyframe. And that's done by using the null keyword. So by using the wildcard keyframe, the animation is going to start its scale from whatever value it was left off at. And that can prevent an unnatural and abrupt jump from happening. Of course, we might not want the timings of the keyframes to always be equally divided. And we can override that by using the times property in the transition object. And times is also going to be an array of values the same length that we have in the scale array. And these are going to be values between 0 and 1. So we'll set the first value at 0. And let's say that we want the scale up to the second value of 2 to take a little bit longer. So why don't we set the second value to 0.75, and then the last two values will jump to really quickly. So 0.90 and then 1 for the final value. And let's see how that behaves. So you can see how we really customize that there, where the initial scale up to 2 was kind of gradual, and then those last couple keyframes were really quick. And that gives a certain personality to the animation. So check it out one more time. If you're interested in learning how to bring your web pages to life with cool animations, GSAP, and scrolly telling techniques, check out my course, Scrolly Telling 101. Since I launched the course, the response has been amazing, with students commenting on the wealth of web dev tips and tricks included in the lessons. I'm going to leave a link down below for you, and you can start by checking out some of the free preview videos there. I think you're going to love it.